Just taking a stroll down in the abyss Walking along, hey there, what's this? It's Reka being hit on by a Taurus. Yeah, we expected that, that were you kids? Old Artie that like, hey there, baby. Did I ever tell you that I'm one of the four knights of Anor Orlando? I'm a pretty big deal, if you know what I'm saying. This sword here is the only thing that's great. Oh, you're, you're, you're very funny, but I'm sure you have someone back home. Well, there is this one chick, but uh, she's a wee bit clingy, and I mean, she does. She does have one hell of a behind, and Artorius does love back, but even so, you know, when in Rome and all that. You should probably know that I'm trying to curse the earth. It's alright, I fight curses on a daily basis. What's yours about? Uh, well, basically, I want to kill everyone because I don't get to spend time with my brother, who I've known for ten minutes in my entire life. Hold it together, Artie. Remember guy rule number one. Don't stick it in the crazy. I wonder if we'll get like a little cutscene of Kay just be trying to claw his way out of this building. You know, hands behind his back, ball gag in his mouth. Steak of impaling sticking out between his arse cheeks. Man can dream, right? A man can dream. <laughs> get back in the tomb, Kay. I don't want to go back in the tomb. Get back in the tomb. It's unlikely, but, you know, as I say, a man can dream. A man can dream. It's very dark in here still. Perhaps one person who comes through, they should, I don't know, open the doors. Rather than just, you know, inch through the crack. Who keeps playing that xylophone? Yep, someone with a very tiny lantern. Could it be Daniel? Daniel of Mayfair? Perhaps this is where he came after the whole debacle with the darkness. Oh no, I'm guessing that's supposed to be Konami, right? Yeah, they murdered your sister, dude. And your mom knew about it. How's that for a fucked up family? Rika. Just still barely alive. So they don't even kill the wenches, they just nail them to the floor and bugger off? Jesus Christ. The fuck is wrong with you people? In my dreams, I... See that town? Silent Hill? Dude, not cool! Why did that handmaiden guide a man such as you to the Chamber of Thorns? Do not enter the Chamber of Thorns. You must not disturb the priestess who lies beside Yeah, to ask the office question, Miss Head of the Family Lady. How exactly did you think this was gonna go? You murdered her brother right in front of her. In what possible way was that ever going to end well for anybody? I don't want to see anymore. <laughs> well, damn. That's what triggered it, huh? It wasn't just a pathetic, desperate longing. It was actually seeing said relative murdered before her eyes, after she'd already resigned herself to eternity of pain and suffering. With the idea of dreaming of him being alive and well, keeping her semi-sane. It's a neat trick. Can you do it at parties? Run away, run away. Crazy bitches after me. No, don't worry. I can do this. I have a camera. Yeah, we're doomed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying, see, keep saying there, Rekha Love. Ooh, fuck. There she is. Wait a second. Is that Nito? See, I knew there was a Dark Souls connection somewhere. She's being sponsored by Nito. Or at least perved on by him anyway. God damn it, Nito. Bonk! Yeah, I didn't know I could do that, did you, bitch? 42 damage for a basic shot? What pitiful defenses do you have? 
Would not have. Oh, fuck. It's a neat trick. Well done. Even Ray is slightly faster than. Come on. Any time now with the camera would be great, Ray. Bonk. 140. Yeah, keep trying to do that. It's working so well. Keep pimp walking towards me when I smack you in the face. Bonk. 140 again. Nice. Wait, what? Well, this is weird. Oh, fuck, there she is. No! Get away from me, you crazy bitch! Not today, Raker. Not today. I don't like you. Nobody like you. Your brother, he didn't like you either. Just so you know. Just so you know. I'm not sure why I started running left when I was holding control stick right, but whatever. Ow! What the? I'm not sure what the fuck just hit me. It was one of her little soul orb things. The fuck is she? Rekha. Rekha? Where you going, bitch? Oh, there she is. The cat can fly! Yeah, well done. Ooh. Nito, this is not the time. Try to kill an angry ghost entity. This is not the time for you to play around. Indulging your amateur cinematography habit. That's what it's supposed to be in the distance, is just random clips of bits of her life. That was weird, she wasn't even there. Yep, there she is. Hmm, should I bother trying this? Uh, fuck! Ow! Wow, that's one hell of a knockback. Uh, bugger it. Let's try and catch her when she flies up. Or flies, you know what I mean. The end of the swing. No, it wasn't fast enough. To do it, you gotta... No, no, fine. There she is. That's for awesome. instantaneous transitioning there. From one attack to another. Okay, and up in the air. Crap. Nito, really, not the time. I don't care what amazing ideas for a sequel you got. Just really not the time. Is it just me or is she not even here? Yeah, she's actually even here again. What the hell? Why is she not loading into the second attack sequence? I'm not complaining per se. She's a pain in the ass when she does, but... That's supposed to be the point, isn't it? Presumably she loads in there and can attack you pretty well. Damn it all! Wasn't close enough. Or fast enough for that matter. Oh well. Should have plenty of green film left where I have to transition back to blue. Bonk! Fatal frame, bitch! Fatal frame. Hey, have you seen my latest project? Nito, bug her off. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's here again now. But she just runs slightly daggly to her, she doesn't seem to be able to catch up. Oh shit, as long as you don't run into walls that you can't see. Nope. Not today, bitch. Not today. Didn't, um, actually, couldn't figure, didn't the first game have a very similar mechanic to this? Wherein, um, there was a section of the fight where the boss could, like, insta-kill you if you weren't careful. Bonk! 42. Mm, not so good, but it'll do. standing there for several seconds, but I can't seem to hurt her. Not fair, somehow. Wait for it. Wait for it. Full charge shot in the face! Full powered blast straight in her face. What a very Japanese finish. Cutscene, presumably. As long as it's not a black screen of death, I'm fine. All those seemingly identical maidens. The likelihood of you actually being able to close her eyes after this time is pretty low there. The likelihood of there being eyeballs there is pretty low.
Well, you know, there really is an entire ocean behind the mansion. Guess this isn't the time for beach volleyball, though. No frolicking and having fun here. Push on through to the other side. No, that's not what we're going for. You know, let's just pray she isn't boat sick. Be a terrible thing for the people in the afterlife to be cleaning up. I'm sure that's going to endear us to anyone. Deity or no. <sighs> she threw up on our couch. Oh, shit. Across the rift. You're going to need a bigger camera. Well, at least they're not going after me for a change. As far as I'm concerned, that's a success. Wait, I know that guy. You? Everyone should just turn around and go, what, me? No, no, him. You are always with me, no matter what. You gave me so much because you were with me. Ray, I know it's supposed to be a powerful emotional moment, but you're coming off as a wee bit clingy and stalkerish here. Always with me. Well, little we know of your backstory, you don't have a tragic past. There's no reason you should be that reliant on this guy. I'm some sad J Rock. My people need me. What's such a bad idea in PS2 era games to showcase hands? We still haven't finished making them properly yet. off the hole and she was pregnant all along ending I don't know how much time has passed between, between the accident and you know now don't know how literal we're being when he's saying you know a part of me will live on in you
I know, all those funky tattoos gone. If you want them back, you'd have to pay for them. That's gonna cost a lot of money. Those were intricate, goddammit. Okay, that was Project Zero Free. So I think I've made my position on this game pretty clear. I like it overall. I like the gimmick of the camera and whatnot from, yeah, from all the Project Zero games. I have issues with how difficult actually getting your character to go anywhere is. So how slow you are. Uh, I really, it's not really too much of an issue until you start getting into the boss fights with really fast ghosts or the sections where you have to run from like one end of the manor to the other and you t we actually look at it the stuff you're actually doing in the level takes less time than simply moving from one end of the level to the other that's where the whole movement speed issue starts coming in oh well I'm so sure what's going on with that final thing where you collect all the mirror pieces and then get Legend of Zelda style teleported to where you need to be. That's... No idea what the hell that was about. Sudden... So, oh, the developers suddenly decided to try and increase the pace of the game by cutting out any transitioning. Then you go into the abyss and you have that huge ass trek all the way down the stairs which slows things down again, so I don't know. A little bit of inconsistency going on there. But overall, yeah, pretty good. Pretty damn good, I mean. I don't know. Yeah, I think overall it's pretty good. I think, I mean. Ray as a character is pretty bland, I gotta admit. And they're, uh, they're rather single minded, and if I'm honest, at times a little bit creepy devotion to her dead boyfriend is a. Uh, I mean, grief I get, but. The extreme clinginess going on there was. I think there could have been more character development explaining why they were supposed to be such a close couple. Yeah, if indeed they were, for that matter. I mean, we learned a lot about the secondary characters. Miku in particular. In fact, is this, I don't think this game's actually answered whether or not Miku survived. She was in a coma. You know, we've closed the rift, but... Does that mean she's woken up as well, or... What's going on here? Actually, has no answer that question at all, has it? In fact, speaking, it hasn't actually told me whether or not Kay is definitely dead. That's been left to my imagination, presumably. What else? Actually, speaking of the Kay storyline, we don't know what the hell's happened to Mio either. Did she wake up? Is she now dead? What's going on? Considering she's a former heroine from the game series, you expect them to address that a bit more directly. And again, I still don't get why they used Kay instead of her. Having her side story about. Especially if they use the um, her strangling and her twin ending in the second game. That makes an incredibly dark and powerful story. Her trying to decide whether or not she deserves to carry on living after having murdered her sister. Admittedly, not because she wanted to, but she did it to, uh, well, save the world, basically. See, that makes it incredibly interesting and a diverse side story. I mean, you have Rey. Who's guilty about Kui having survived an accident? Miku, who is under the mistaken impression that she should feel guilty about her brother sacrificing himself to save the world, sort of, by acquiring himself a dead girlfriend. And then you would have had Mio, who is feeling guilty because she made the choice to kill somebody to save the world. See, three different types of survivor guilt going on there. K is just unwelcome in every possible regard there. He adds absolutely nothing to this entire thing. Apart from a weak camera and irritating hide mechanic that no one ever uses. So it just slows the game down even more and half the time doesn't work because the ghosts can transition through walls and things. There's no real way to hide from them. Hmm. I'm not sure what I think of the the candle system either. That adds a timed element to the game that the game is not suited to. That involves the candle would be great if the game was faster paced in general. 
It's a game about slow and cautious exploration. You can't add a forced timed element to that, it doesn't work. It creates anxiety and frustration, but not of the type you want in a horror situation. More of the type that's going to make your, character, your player go, fuck this, and turn the game off. But they end up trapped in, you know, a miasma sequence they can't get out of. I don't know. I think perhaps there should have been situations in, in which the candle didn't burn down. Like, if you were in the middle of a boss fight, for example, the candle's timer should be turned off. That's what I'm saying. Especially when you're playing as bloody Ken, it takes forever to kill stuff because your camera does no damage. Oh. Overall, though, yeah, I enjoyed myself. Are we gonna get an after credit sequence, maybe? Please, Mr. Temko, sir, can we have some story resolution, please? Yeah, Ray and Miku sitting on a beach. So presumably Miku did survive then. Okay, works for me. I never understood why we survived. But now, I realize why we were allowed to live. What do you mean allowed? We kicked ghost ass. Even with the pain. What delightfully emo ending there, Ray. Ah. <sighs> See you around, folks.